Good afternoon, everybody. <clears throat> this is Yoel Cortex, Senior Librarian at Ex Libris. And today we're going to be discussing using Primo Analytics to analyze device usage. We're going to use Primo Analytics together with data visualization. That's part of the OAS, the Oracle Analytics Server, which is an integral part of the Ex Libris higher education platform. So let's jump right in and see how this works. So here we are in Alma, and we will choose Analytics, and we'll choose Data Visualization Primo. And when we choose Data Visualization Primo, we get to the Data Visualization Primo. So let's say we create a new project, and we'll go to the subject areas. And we'll choose Primo Device Usage. And add that to our project. So now we're creating a project using the subject area, Primo Device Usage. And let's drag in the fields that we want to use for our project. So underneath Device Usage, we'll take the number of sessions, because we want to know how often is a certain device being used. And of course, we'll also want the device, dragging that in as well. So now we have the device and the number of sessions, and the data visualization gave us by default an auto visualization bar graph. Let's limit this by the year. So we'll put in, for example, dates, year. I'm going to drag this to the top where it says drop here to add a filter. And we'll say here we want 2019 and 2020. So we've limited it to 2019-2020. And let's put this in a table. We'll view it a little differently. There might actually be iPad, WAP, and WinPhone here. And we just don't see it because the scale is so high for the laptop PC. So here I'll click the auto visualization. Instead of that auto visualization that the data visualization gave us, we'll switch this to a table. And now we see them all. So we don't want these very low numbers, the iPad, the WAP, the Win Phone. I'm selecting them with the control button. And the laptop PC we also don't want. That's a very high one. We're interested in what other devices are being used in addition to a laptop or a PC. So these that we've selected, we can right click and say remove selected. And that's created a filter automatically on the top. So now we have three fields, uh, excuse me, three values, the Android, Android, the iPad, and the iPhone, and the number of sessions for 2019-2020. And if we want to display this, for example, later as a line graph, we can put in a time value. For example, let's take the week date. I'm going to put this right here in the rows on top. So now we have the week dates. So we have December 31st, January 7th, January 14th, etc. And viewing this as a table isn't really all that useful for us. Let's view this, for example, as a line graph. So I'm clicking the table on the top left. We'll choose line graph. And now we see it as a line graph. But also this view isn't really very helpful for us because we've got the week and the device together. The time and the device are together. So let's put the device with the color. I'm going to drag the device here to the color. And now it looks nice. So now we have the sessions, number of sessions in the y-axis, the date in the x-axis, and the devices are different colors and we see, for example, that they're all following the same trend. The iPhone is more, the iPad is the least, Android is somewhere in the middle, but we don't know the exact numbers from looking here. But we do see the trends are the same. We see, for example, that the Android is going up here, the iPad is going up here, and also the iPhone is going up here. So they all go together. However, if we want to see the actual numbers, we can use a different visualization. We don't have to lose this visualization when we see another one. We can view them simultaneously. And we can do that by duplicating one visualization and then changing it. So I'm going to choose here, Edit, Duplicate Visualization. 
Now we have two visualizations. And for the one on the right, we'll choose a different one. Let's choose the donut. So now on the right, I've got a donut. And on the left, I've got the line graph. But I don't need to have the same fields in each of them. The filter here on top is for both of them. But what fields and how I display them, I can change in each, each visualization. So in the visualization on the right, for example, let's get rid of the week date. We really don't need the week date here. Clicked X on it. And now we see on the right a donut, which is showing us that the iPhone is almost half. That's a little more difficult to see on the left. But the iPhone is about half. Of all of, this, of all of the devices used, which aren't PC laptop, about half of them is the iPhone. 37% are from the Android, and then a much smaller amount, 13.49%, coming from the iPad. So that's how we can analyze the device usage of Primo using the data visualization. Thank you very much, and have a nice day.